Now you'd all seen me drill the hole for the glow plug and got the taps as you can see couldn't quite work out what was going on it almost looks like the tap was trying to drill its own hole and I think that's probably what was happening I looked it up online again as it happened I used the same chart everything checked out drill size for tap blah 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 just wasn't quite right. Looked it up again using a different chart. Lo and behold, it's not. gave me a different size tap hole. Okay. So I looked it up a third time, and the second chart was correct. The first chart that I'd originally drilled this hole with, incorrect. So we all might make our own mistakes sometimes, but fortunately this one wasn't one of mine. So I looked all this up offline. So just after this video finishes that's when I did it realized my mistake re-drilled the hole so you join us after me just redoing the hole I've got the belt disconnected from the mill I'm just going to try and hand tap it So I've just tapped the hole out and I'm going to try and put a glug plug in. And you can, you can just about see the glug plug up in the hole. So that's that part done. That one screw in there, that one screw in there. So now I need um, I'm gonna put a through hole just in case with another glow plug hole that's not used and doesn't go into the oil gallery. So in other words it'll be just a hole straight through which these will thread into. Like so. And I'll put another glow plug hole in, but it'll be a blank hole, it won't go anywhere. Just gives me two options for glow plug heating.
So I've got the burner on the bench at the moment and what I've done basically is I've taken off the long burner tube and installed the jet further up in the joining point because it used to fix here. So basically I've just shortened it to the full short length. I originally built it with this tube with the idea being that the end is going to get very hot and this being a plastic fan I thought, wow, you want to keep it as far away as possible, but all the time the fan is running at any speed whatsoever, it doesn't get hot, it can't get hot. But so you'd normally see the fan mounted in that kind of orientation. The temperature block's going to go here, there's the block here, and that's going to mount on there like that, onto this tube. So air pipe's still got to go on. Because obviously I've still got a, quite a lot of pipe hanging out now. You can see these long pipes. Well, obviously these went all the way up. This burner tube, and they feed in down the bottom through there, and the jet just fixes for single fixing in the top of the pipe. And um, oh, by the way, the weight and the hammers sitting on there is obviously because this thing's sitting on the nose and it's a little bit precarious, so the weights. Just acting as a counterbalance at the moment. So I'm going to cut this pipe off, join the airline on, and then work out whereabouts I'm going to put the heater element. So in the last video, I said I would try and do a little CAD model just to better explain what I'm trying to do. Now this image shows two glow plugs. I only used one, but for the sake of modelling, I put two in. Now the idea is the heat comes from the glow plug tip. The oil passing up past the tip of the glow plug and then on towards the furnace gets heat, heated by the glow plug tip. Also, the residual heat in the body helps heat the oil as well. Now, my concern of this was that the oil might carbonise around the tip of the glow plug. I mean, this thing glows red hot. So, while I was worried that the oil lingering around the tip of the glow plug might end up producing carbon particles as it effectively boils. And, of course, that ends up getting into to the burner and effectively blocking it up which really wouldn't be very helpful so this was in the back of my mind all the way through the build and that's why I sort of built it with two options I didn't go for this option in entirely in the end at all I had never used it and went for this option so same thing the glow plug heats up but rather than heating the oil up directly it heats the block and the block heats the oil now I said in the last video about threading the depth of this tube, the larger surface area gives a better contact to the oil and hopefully just heats it up. Oh, this is a really crappy graphics of this, so I've got to apologise. But you can see as the oil travels through, it conducts the heat out of the block. Right, I thought I'd just show you the bare aluminium block as it is before there's any fittings or anything in it and I say there's two heating systems a glow plug in the block and glow plug in the oil obviously it's still in the block mm -hmm. but 
Um, so one glow plug would be in there and the oil would flow in here, round the glow plug and out of here. And the other system which is the glow plug goes into a blank hole which just heats the block. And the oil would then go into this hole here which just goes all the way through and back out again. It doesn't go anywhere else. Just simply in and out. Uh, additionally we've got the hole for the temperature sensor with the skewering thread. And that's it, basically.